Ringville, episode Diamond Virago. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Kevin Herrera Sanchez, KHS, and I'm here with Diamond Virago. How's it going? Hi, how are you? I'm doing I'm pretty good. good. Thank you, thank of you. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, you just came back from Puerto Rico, right? Yes, I did. How, how was that? Oh my gosh, it was it was absolutely beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. I've always wanted to wrestle in Puerto Rico, uh -huh. so the fact that I got to make my indie debut over there, yeah. and it was in a six-sided ring too, which was like, nice. oh my god, it was nice. so out of my element, but uh -huh. it was just crazy. It was a surreal experience. Like The whole time, it didn't even feel real. Like Even after the match, I was just backstage, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, because you made your um, debut for Shadow Wrestling, right? Yes, yeah. So what, what was it like working with them? It was great. Um, I went to the back, you know, everyone was speaking Spanish. And my Spanish is good. It's mm -hmm. just like, you know, to talk about wrestling, that was just a completely different. It yeah. was just really different. <laughs> There's some words that don't translate yeah, over super. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, whoa. I was a little <laughs> nervous. But every all the talent was super nice. Mm -hmm. um, it, you could tell, like, they had, like, a family vibe in nice. the back, which was really cool. But it was great getting to work with everybody mm -hmm. and getting to meet all these names that I've seen online for so long. Mm -hmm. um, it was great. They like welcomed me with open arms, and it was it was nice, very exciting. Nice. What's the difference between working in a four-sided ring and a six-sided ring? Oh my goodness gracious! So, <laughs> okay, so let me just tell you this: mm -hmm. in a in a four-sided ring, right? Your ring awareness is up. Like you know where you're going, you know where everything is, you know what you're doing because there's mm -hmm. only four sides. Right. In the six-sided ring, you there's a lot of room for like for mess ups. Like, mm -hmm. You don't know where you're going. Okay. You know if you're not really aware of it if you've never worked in a six-sided ring it's hard because you mm -hmm. have to be super aware of what buckle you're hitting what rope you're hitting like okay. it gets super messy super mm -hmm. confusing super fast um, i remember i was watching some uh like like a documentary of tna when they yeah. had their uh, six-sided ring yeah and they said that landing on the ring hurts more oh yeah I mean, yeah, I could definitely see why we got to see the ring being taken apart because mm -hmm. uh, I got there like later on. Um, but I mean, wrestling in the ring itself, it wasn't too bad. No, no, it wasn't okay. too bad, which was very surprising. Um, mm. It felt good. It was just crazy to see being put together, all the pieces mm. of wood yeah. cut up. It right. was crazy. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. So I first discovered you watching House of Glory, right? <laughs> yeah. And. One of the first things I like realized about watching you wrestle and cut promos is you really understand who you are as a character in and outside of the ring. Definitely. Right. So what was that process of, of like of finding you in that space? Well, like one thing I want people to know mm -hmm. is that Diamond Virago is me. Like I'm I'm literally myself just turned up a notch when I step into a ring, when I step in front of a camera. It's literally who I am, you know? Mm -hmm. um, ever since a young age, I've always known who I wanted to be, and I've always known that I'm meant to be in the spotlight, not even on no, like, crazy cockiness mm -hmm. or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm genuinely saying, like, I knew I got into acting at a very young age. Okay. I was in many acting schools. I did theater. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to be in the spotlight, and wrestling just fell into my lap, and I was just like, I love this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. So when I step into that ring, I'm sure of myself, and I know what I could accomplish, and I know that no one can draw a crowd like me. Nobody can turn heads like me. I just, I know I'm the shit. You know, <laughs> like, no, absolutely, of course. Um, it's interesting watching people, like especially wrestlers, like once they're ending their like in-ring career, yeah. a lot of them do tend to transition into acting. Yeah. Because it is such a like important part of wrestling where it's like you are playing for the crowd mm -hmm. right and you are real and it reminds me a lot of theater acting where yeah. it's like it's very you know much in the facial expressions right Everything. So, so you said you had um you took acting classes and you were in acting yeah. school right yes. so it was like how did that help you within Oh my goodness, it literally helped me with everything in mm -hmm. wrestling. Like, it makes me feel so comfortable being in the ring and being in front of all these people that I had that experience, which helped me so much. Every time I enter a ring and people are looking at me, I don't get nervous. If anything, it's reversed. Like, I'm nervous before I go out, and mm -hmm. as soon as I go and I see the faces of people, I just know I'm there to entertain. I know, yeah. like, and I don't know, I just feel in my element when I'm in front of people, when I'm like being theatrical and big and because mm -hmm. it's who I am just turned up. Right, I'm not right, like, right, right. I'm not, I'm not doing nothing different. It's just, mm -hmm. it's me. Yeah. Cause I have heard like, especially to get like over in, in wrestling is, is being yourself, yeah. but times 10. Yeah. Literally. Right? And that's what you've yeah. tried to do. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, <laughs> 
another thing I realized when watching your matches is you're not afraid to use like underhanded tactics or, you know, <laughs> have like do a little bit of cheating every now and then. Like, yeah. is this something where it's like you knew you were going to do or you, it just kind of fell into it? Listen, all I'm going to say is when I get the opportunity to win a match and do what I got to do, it will be done. OK, mm -hmm. and if I see a window open for opportunity, it will be taken and I will win. <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's um, let's talk about your partnership with uh, the House of Glory women's champion, mm -hmm. the ultraviolet. Yes. Right. How did that come to so, um, basically, before mm -hmm. I joined House of Glory, uh, I would watch a lot of the stuff online, and I've known of her, like, before I even joined the school. Um, the fact that she's went through many similar experiences, she's beat names like Sonya Strong, and then right. I made my debut, I also beat Sonya Strong, and, you know, I do uh, see a lot of myself in her, in a sense, mm -hmm. and, you know, if she's still around, and she's still in House of Glory, and I could pick her brain, and get help from her, why not, you right, know? Right, She's what, super talented. What are some of the things she has helped you with? Oh my goodness, she's definitely like given me the advice I need on being confident, mm -hmm. being myself in and outside of the ring and basically making sure that every single time I step into a ring with or without her, that um, just to trust myself, trust my skills um, and everything will work out in the end. You know, especially in House of Glory, it's a very, uh, it's a it's like a family, you mm -hmm. know, over there and she welcomed me with open arms and she takes care of me inside and out of the ring, you know. Yeah. She gives me all the advice I need about everything. Mm -hmm. So you brought up Sonya Strong, right? And you made your deb debut against her. <laughs> um what what made you attack her with a chair after winning the match? Listen. I I would just put it this way. Mm -hmm. I'm greedy for the spotlight right now, more than ever, you know? And I saw the opportunity to get in a ring with Sonya Strong, that she is, she's had very legendary matches, and win. And listen, if I could take that spotlight and keep that spotlight for myself, I will, you know? This is a, a time in wrestling where, listen, it's a ladder. You gotta mm -hmm. do what you gotta do to get no, up yeah, there. Yeah. And if I gotta get down and dirty, then I will. And unfortunately, she was caught in the crossfire of that. So, I'm yep. sorry. But, uh, sorry, Sonya Strong. <laughs> um, but right after you attacked her, right? Yeah. Someone else came in and tried to steal your spotlight. Oh my God. Like, b by your facial expression, you already know who I'm talking about. Oh my God. Right? Um, Kamar Couture, what are, you ish what are your issues with her? Well, okay. So let me just put it this way. Um, wrestling, this mm -hmm. business is very survival of the fittest, okay? And she started before me, but uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean much to me because quickly I started and I ended up doing this and you know, things just mm -hmm. happen. But um, we were friends, but I quickly realized that friendships in wrestling, <laughs> they don't really exist. Um, so I needed to do what I had to do and I saw that she was gonna take these opportunities from me and I realized no they're mine I want them I'm here and I'm gonna do what I gotta do so I guess that's where it all stemmed from but mm -hmm. you know it's interesting you say that friendships aren't real in wrestling right and I'm not trying to throw any shade your way or anything like that but have you thought about maybe challenging the ultraviolet for the house of glory women's champion <laughs> I mean or is that your friend in the sense of like yeah we won't um, it's not, okay, not really in the sense of, like, challenging her. Mm -hmm. I would like to go against her out of the respect, you know, she's helping me, she's mentoring me right now. It would mm -hmm. be an honor, you know, to be able to go against her for that championship. I take that opportunity in a heartbeat. Um, the House of Glory Women's Championship is what I want. Let's not get that confused because I do want that and I do see that around my waist. Um, but if it's from her, it would be an honor. It would just be a... a a respectful match it would be an honor for me to step mm -hmm. in the ring with her like that it's not it, there it's no it's no disrespect whatsoever but you know it's, but you have your eyes on it I do okay of course okay. I do um I was on your social media mm -hmm. and I saw a video where you were cutting a promo for LPW mm -hmm. right and you were talking about being one of the only Boricuas in the locker room and then I don't know where Carlito walks in <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What was that like meeting him? Oh my gosh. It was insane. <laughs> like, I was, first of all, 
I love Carlito. Like, I, I love Carlito. So when I knew he was going to be coming to hog mm -hmm. i completely freaked out and i was being kind of markish and mm -hmm. i remember talking to red and going oh my god like he's gonna be here and he was yeah. like relax and i was just like, <laughs> like I, was, I was just like i'm so excited like uh -huh. you have no idea this is just crazy and then being able to see him um backstage you know first of all he's ripped yeah. like he no. is huge like he was yep. just towering over everybody mm -hmm. in the back and i was like bro like it was just so unreal <laughs> but he's really nice mm -hmm. he's really nice did he give you any advice um he basically we had like a quick interaction we mm -hmm. cut the promo because he had to go but um he did he like we <laughs> we were cutting the promo and i remember seeing him like on the side mm -hmm. and he was just doing like nods of approval and i remember i messed up like I stuttered on my words a little mm -hmm. bit in the first take and he just looked at me and he was like, it's all right. It's all right. You were, you were doing good. You were nice. doing good. Like, let's keep it going. And I was just like, oh my God. That's always, that must be amazing reassurance oh to get. Goodness. I literally had goosebumps. I was uh -huh. like, this is not real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, so with Super Sarger or wrestlers like Carlito, Damian Priest, oh, yeah. Selena Vega, right? Even Tasha Steeles in, yeah. in TNA. Like yeah. there's a lot of like Puerto Rican people who are presented in a way where they um, the company has trust in them and they mm -hmm. are viewed as uh, com competitors who can actually challenge yeah. for a world title, right? Yeah. And they can be uh, sh chosen to really carry the brand on their yeah. back. It's like, what does that mean to you? It means so much to have this amount of representation as a Puerto Rican mm -hmm. in the wrestling industry. Like, we're literally dominating wrestling right now like completely yeah. backlash yep. with bad bunny and like bad it's bad. just savio vega like it, it's it's so amazing to mm -hmm. be able to turn on tv see this representation and see this love for wrestling that yeah. us puerto ricans really have it, it makes me feel so good and it makes me excited especially coming back from puerto rico mm -hmm. making my debut over there it was mm -hmm. really emotional for me and like to be able to see everybody else get these opportunities it gives me hope because mm -hmm. i know I will be there eventually to, and it will make my family proud, everybody in Puerto Rico proud, and mm -hmm. it just, it, it fills me with so much excitement, mm -hmm. you know? Did you have family go watch you in Puerto Rico? They wanted to, uh -huh. they wanted to. Um, it was just, it was a last minute thing, so they couldn't make it, but everyone from the island, they were like blowing up my phone, sending their love and support. Nice. It was just, nice it felt so great. It made me so mm -hmm. happy. Nice, that's always a beautiful yeah. thing, for sure. Getting support from people is yeah. like, it really gives you that like, little push of like, okay, I'm mm -hmm. doing something right. They're supporting mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm right where I need to be. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I also saw another picture. You met Samoa Joe. Yeah, I did. I uh -huh. did. Oh my goodness. So like it was for a professional wrestling seminar mm -hmm. that House of Glory held. And as soon as I saw that that opportunity was up for the taking that you just had to pay and show up, I was like, I'm down. As soon, it, yeah. Bro, as soon as I came out, I was like, yo, here's my money. Take nah, my money right now. Like, right that's Samoa Joe right there. That's Samoa Joe. Like, take my money. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> um, and to be able to go, like, the fact that he is real. Like, mm -hmm. he's real. He's, yeah. like how he acts on television it's not an act that's how he is that's mm -hmm. how he was talking he tells you how it is the real deal the realness of the business you know he gave us really amazing advice and we got to train in front of mm -hmm. him and it was so it was so awesome and at the end to be able to take a picture with him and talk to him it gave me hope because being able to impress mm -hmm. someone like him it just, oh my gosh, like, oh, yeah. those are the things that, like, as a, as a wrestler that's starting out, those are the things that will really have you going back home and just up all night sitting in your bed, like, yeah. wow. Like, mm -hmm. I used to watch these people on TV, and now I'm right. really meeting them, and right. I'm next to them. It just doesn't even yeah. feel real. No, that must even boost your confidence. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, it does. I'm like, okay, well, I must be doing something. Yeah, right. like, I'm, <laughs> in this, I'm in the same room as Samoa Joe. Like, yeah, come on. like, come on. <laughs> um, what are some of your goals for, for 2024? Well, uh getting a championship, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm not even trying to say it in a way where I think I'm better than the whole women's roster because, listen, even though uh, listen, the proof is in the pudding, but, I mean, a championship will really solidify who Diamond Virago is. I am the pressure, and I will be showing everybody that. I feel mm -hmm. like having a championship around my waist will finally show people to stop overlooking me that – you know, it'll only bring more bookings, more opportunity, and that's just what I'm looking for. That's what I need. There you go. You heard it here. All right. Thank you, everyone.